Hello, welcome back to the ADHD Knitter and Crocheter. I'm your host, Jennifer, also known as Jedi Dragoon. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And it's been a while since I did a video. I think from now on, I'm just going to say from July to about mid-September, I'm going to be taking a break from YouTube because I am always super busy. And yeah, there's a crap load of stuff going on between um july august september ish so yeah i think i'm just going to start taking those two months off during the year uh because i don't crochet it's too hot and the kids are busy with stuff and all that so welcome back i'm back um and this is my mood for today just your average monday <laughs> and yeah, so I figured I'd get on here. Today I'm just doing a quick recap of what all I've been up to since the last time I did a video, which was how long ago? Yeah, looking at my phone while doing a video. Great. Yeah. You guys all know this. You know how I am. ADHD uh, has been a part of my life for a long time. I can only focus on so many things at once before I get tired. That's the easiest way to explain it. Um, my last one was my garlic harvest two months ago. And I think I was getting ready for the kids to go to church camp, which they went. They had fun. Um, Patrick, my middle child and youngest son, who is also prone to getting mad easy and um, general, he has ADHD like me. And he also has, sorry, I've been getting over a cold. So if you see me rubbing my nose and stuff, I've just been getting over a cold. Kids went back to school September 7th. I got sick the week after. Usually happens that way. Um, but anyway, he has ADHD and we think ODD, which is Oppositional Defiant Disorder, which makes things fun. <laughs> My sister has it. Um, I'm used to it, so I just deal with it and roll with it. But he didn't like the fact that he had to walk everywhere and get exercise. So he <laughs> he said he wasn't going back to camp next year. I told him he was because I was going to go as a cook. And Daddy works at night. So, yeah. Uh, they all enjoyed it. They had a lot of fun. My friends kept sending me pictures of the kids. And other people from church sent me pictures of the kids. So it was kind of nice because I could keep track of what was going on but I was I was trying not to be bug -um, and I was down in Kentucky with my mom uh, helping her do uh, VBS which is vacation bible school so we were busy doing that and um, I was helping her out in the kitchen and all that and I had a good time doing that um, I was really tired after that and so I planned to start videos back up then but then I crashed and then I wasn't crocheting so I didn't have anything to show. Um, sorry, drinking my favorite, Dr. Pepper. I'm trying to cut down to one a day but that's beside the point. So I was down there with them, um, everything went great, mom was grateful I came. Um, dad's doing good. He's, um, back home. He's starting to work with a physical therapist. So his hip is finally healed up. He's starting to walk around and they the physical therapist is good because she's like, he tells her what he wants to do. And she's like, nope, that's not how this works. So that's good for him. Um, and then... Then after we, we, after camp, we also went to Ohio State Fair. That was really fun. The two younger, we went on this, the Ohio State Fair, they have a sky lift. And I told my husband that me and Matthew would go on it. Um, <laughs> Cause we just went one day, but I told, okay, we will go on the sky lift. I remembered I don't, why I don't like sky lifts. I have a little bit of a fear of heights. Only the only fear of heights I have is when it's like man made objects. Like, I can go stand at the edge of like a cliff or climb up in a tree and be fine, but put me on something like 
a person built and I'm terrified. <laughs> it's stupid, I know, but most of my fears are. So, so yeah, we're riding on this thing and it's, there's a slight dip in it, just a slight one, but you can feel it go over it. Yeah. My, my one son, Patrick was first, he started off terrified and then I got him over that. And then he started leaning over it. They're both kind of leaning halfway over it. I'm like, no, no, sit back, scoot back. They started scoot back. So the whole thing started to rock. I'm like, no, 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 next, that, no, no, stop. <laughs> so it's like, just, just sit still. So we got off that and Matthew had about as fun time as I did. <laughs> uh, we're, we're a lot alike. So it was like, okay, well, we're just going to walk back, <laughs> which we want to do anyway. So. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. We saw a lot of things. The other two wanted to go on these rides, the Ferris wheel and all these different things. So we let them go on there. Me and Matthew went off and did our own thing, which we enjoyed because we don't like the rides as much. And so we did that. And then before they went to camp, we're also getting ready for the Union County Fair for 4-H. So they're... Um, Therefore, their group project at the Union County Fair got a honorable mention, which they now do honorable mention and outstanding, not first or second place trophies, so, or third place. So they got honorable mentions with that. So that's like a second place kind of thing. So that was really cool. Um, and then, so we're looking, and then we went to the fair and then... After that, we had to start getting ready for, in August, for the Bridgewood Fair. So we had to get their projects done. So from uh, July and August, I was busy working on that, helping them get their projects done. So we were working on that. And Kat's doing something in the other room. So we were busy with that. And so we were getting them done. Ready for Richwood. Richwood Independent Fair is a fair in a town in a small town, so which is actually where I live, and it's like the oldest running independent fair in the country. So we have that little claim flame. I love. I actually like it better than the Union County Fair. Um, there's a lot more stuff. The people participate more. We have more entries into our um, like. Um, displays and all that so it's a really neat fair to go to um and the only bad thing is is also during while the fairs because it happens the weekend of labor day weekend so we got them right for the fair we got their poster boards done that was really nice because um it's good for them to do patrick's thought he knew everything of course and he didn't study or do any prep or anything like that so he got an a and b ribbon and then when he did the judging and then matthew got two a ribbons which patrick was just happy because he had two different ribbons and it's like uh patrick one's a b okay and then matthew we got told by his advisor who was also judging at the richwood fair uh, that he got an honorable mention and we're like, okay, cool. Cause that day that he had the honor of the mention, we had been planning to go to the Ohio Renaissance festival. Well, that changed. So we got him. So we knew that was going to be a fun time. So we, well, we'd planned to go to Richwood fair anyway. So we went to Richwood fair. We walked around, we had fun, we ate a lot, they played laser tag, rogue rides, and then a thunderstorm came out, so they couldn't ride any more rides, so they're disappointed about that, but that's nothing we can control. So, but Patrick was upset already because we had to take Matthew to his ceremony where he got his honorable mention, and we knew this was going to go over well with Patrick because Patrick wants to be the best at everything, but sometimes he doesn't want to do the work, which I can completely understand where he gets that from because he gets that from me sometimes. Um, yeah, I, that tends my YouTube channel only having like 400 subscribers and not putting the work into it, but I'm trying to change that. <laughs> and so anyway, Matthew got his honorable mention, went up, got picture taken and all that, and Patrick got mad. 
because <laughs> he didn't get it. It's like, well, next year you can work harder. Can I take the same projects and do it again and do better? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Okay. So next year we know what we have to do and he can do better. So it was a good experience for him. I knew he was going to get mad. I was prepared for it and we dealt with it and went on. And then that Monday, we went to the Ohio Renaissance Festival. That was awesome. I loved that. Um, Ohio Renaissance Festival is this big festival held from September through October on weekends. Um, it's down between Cincinnati and Dayton or somewhere in there. I'm not exactly sure. I went there, but I'm not sure exactly where it's at. Um, but it was a lot of fun because um, I love... You know, I love fantasy, dragons, medieval. It had all that kind of stuff. There was, they had blacksmiths there who had swords for sale. They had all sorts of interesting stuff. Strangely enough, though, they didn't have anybody selling, like, yarn or, like, spinning stuff, like, drop spindles or anything like that, which I found was weird because I thought somebody, they had a crochet booth there. <laughs> I did find a crochet book booth, and, um... I actually enjoyed their name because they named their crochet book Hooks and Chains. <laughs> I got the reference. I'm pretty sure nobody else got the reference, but it's pretty cute. And then Matthew told me he wanted me to crochet one of the dragons they had. They're, the people at the booth were like, he wants you to buy it? I'm like, no. He wants me to make it. So I have to try to crochet a dragon. And it's not one of those small, simple, easy patterns. This is like a big Chinese dragon, like, fantastical thing. So I got to find a pattern and all that and try to work on that. Because Matthew never asked for anything. So it's like, okay, I will try to make it, honey. But yeah, they had all these crocheted stuffed animals for sale and that. And I was like, you should sell drop spindles in fiber. That would be, that'd be Renaissance medieval. That was Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> so anyway, so while we're there, we saw jousting, which I had never seen jousting in real life. That was pretty fun. We went like two times. Um, I'd say my favorite thing was going to the, was getting shawarma and um, Turkish coffee with ice cream. That was delicious. <laughs> Turkish coffee is really strong black coffee. And then uh, they're I was ordering that, and Jason's like, do you want to get that, or do you want to get the Turkish coffee with a scoop of ice cream in it? I'm like, ooh, I will get that. And that was yummy, because the ice cream melted into it, made it a little better, and it, uh, that was good. <laughs> As you know, I like my coffee. Um, oh, I'm sorry about this, guys, about my nose. I just, yeah. So anyway, we went and saw that. We made the mistake of taking the kids to something called the Dungeon of Doom, which had all these torture devices, which I thought looked kind of corny, but Matthew freaked out. And it's like, okay, we shouldn't have brought Matthew in here. The other ones were like, fine. Um, but Matthew's freaking out. So it's like, okay, well, that was a mistake, but live and learn. Um, <laughs> and... I got my Halloween costume there. Uh, we spent way too much money there, by the way, but it was fun and worth it. The boys got, all three kids got shields and wooden swords. I got a corset and a dress and a overskirt. Sissy got, Catherine got a dress and a corset and all that. I'm supposed to make her a uh, little skirt to go over it to make it even cuter. And she got a pair of wings and a little crown thing and all that. So... We had a lot of fun there. Um, my husband's going to be making a costume to go along with mine, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, he can sew. <laughs> he does better than I do. And I still haven't figured that one out, but I let him go do it, so. Um, yeah, so this was just a uh, catch-up on what all I've been up to. And then also, then we had to go out the next day and start buying school supplies because we haven't bought school supplies. Unfortunately, everybody was getting out the Halloween stuff and putting away the school supplies because our school started so late. Because where my kids go to school, they decided this year to wait until after the Richwood Fair because everybody goes to the fair, except for a few people. But 
you know, everybody loves going to the fair at Richwood. So, and anybody who lives in Richwood usually manages to go at least one day. So they just hold, do you say it? they voted this year and they decided to hold off school until like September 7th to start. So our kids started really late, which means they'll probably be going to school sometime in June, which will be fun. But my kids usually get out later than everybody else anyway. Of course, they also start later than everybody else. So, well, they actually, they start about the same time and then they're out for a week and that kind of factors in. So we'll see what happens. So, and then of course, right after they started back to school, I thought, well, I'll get started making videos and stuff again. I got, I ended up getting sick with a cold, but that usually happens. So what is going on with the channel? Um, my crochet. I haven't crocheted since about July and all I was making was mesh bags. I'll show you what all I've been working on. Um, I've started knitting again and I've started crocheting again. So I'm going to be getting back into those. Um, it's going to be a slow process getting back into the rhythm of doing everything because I'm out of practice, but it's, it's just trying to get stuff done. And also I've been trying to start working on my housekeeping skills, getting those <laughs> better. Um, not perfect, but I, I'm starting to make progress. And some days I do really good, other days I don't. And like today, I had two hours of sleep. Then I went back to bed and everybody kept calling me about it once an hour. And I finally, about 10 o'clock, I said, heck with it, got up. <laughs> And yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about today because I just want to catch you up what I've been doing um, or not doing as in crochet world and fiber world and all that. So I'm going to get back into the swing of things. I'm going to try and make a video every day because I would like to eventually earn a little supplemental money from this um, just to kind of supplement finances and stuff like that. Cause right now money is really tight. So you will not be seeing any yarn purchases for a while. Um, I'm going to be trying to go through my stash and just use up stuff from my stash and figure out some stash projects and stuff. I'm going to be crocheting another Knight's helmet so I can update the pictures. So you'll be seeing that. And I'm going to be crocheting another uh, hunting hat. So you'll be seeing me working on those. Because I want to get some better pictures and do some different colors of the hunting hat. Uh, so I can update the pictures on Raverly and Etsy. And I want to um, trying to blank here. Oh, and I want to work on the Jaina beanie and try to do that. I want to do like a worsted weight version of it, a fingering weight version of it, a DK version of it so that if people can use whatever it's kind of a crochet version of the Ross hat where you can use whatever weight of yarn you have I haven't quite figured out how to do the the one above chunky I think it's jumbo weight I haven't figured that one out yet but I don't really have that weight of yarn so I'll have to fool around with that and see what I can come up with um but yeah, I plan to start working on doing some more designs and stuff like that. So that's going to be in the works. Um, knowing my ADHD, I'll have all these good intentions and try to start off strong and then get distracted about halfway through. But I will try my best to do this and treat this more like a regular job than a little side hobby thing. Um, other than that, I um, want to say hi to Kathy and Debbie and anybody else who has... Uh, said hi or meant talk to me in the comments just talk to me a bunch and eventually i'll remember your name and i might give you a shout out and say hi um and like i said if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye